We opened on uh, June 10th, uh, 1988. Comics were really, were really hot right then. Batman, the first movie with Michael Keaton, was just uh, getting ready to come out. So I thought it would be a good uh, try, uh, chance to try to make it into a business and uh, see what happened. I always collected them since I was a kid, probably since I was about um, oh, six or seven, and uh, got out of it when I was uh, going to high school, but managed to keep all my books. So, uh, so when, when I found that they were uh, valuable, a, a comic store opened in Lincoln, Nebraska, where I'm from, uh, dug them all out and brought them all upstairs and still had a couple couple thousand of them and so started to put ads in the paper and stuff by the time I opened the store we had 35,000 of them <laughs> it was a relatively slow start yeah um, there there weren't anything at all down here in the area when we opened there had been a store down in Arnold but it had been gone for a year or so and so uh, so yeah we kind of had to cultivate the the market around here so I decided to focus in on comics and we, yeah that's what I think has worked for us we're getting more and more uh, new people now I think the the cumulative effect of the movies is really starting to, to make a difference. It, uh, uh, we're, we're seeing some, some younger people coming in, which, was, which is great, because there weren't hardly any kids coming in for, for a period of a few years, and now that's, uh, that, that's really important. Uh, we try to have some sort of promotion going in a, in a movie theater, so, so, so people uh, will see the movie and then come out and see, see some uh, advertisement for us, and that, and that does always work for, uh, for at least a short period of time. I'm really looking forward to the Marvel idea with their movies now to, to, to interrelate them and make it all a universe and get, get people that haven't ever read comics interested in them for the same reason that we used to be interested in the comics, that there's this universe out here and it all interrelates and that they know it's very exciting. Uh, Batman is pretty close to the top almost every month, as are the Avengers titles, and, uh, and X-Men still in the top ten, uh, but, uh, but not like it used to be in the 90s or anything. And uh, outside of Marvel and DC, I think uh, Dark Horse has Buffy the Vampire Slayer in the top ten, otherwise it's, it's pretty much all Marvel and DC.